Hey, are you ready for some hunting on the Tommy Wilcox Show? Tommy Wilcox Outdoors is brought to you by Alabama Credit Union. Feel good about your money. Mahindra Tractors, built for the long haul. Peach Outdoors, get the motor running on your next project with our Mahindra Tractors, ATVs, and lawn equipment. Tuscaloosa Toyota, one price, one place. Talladega County Exchange, for all your feed and agricultural needs. The band Legal Limit, Lou and the guys play all your favorite classic rock and country. Nelson Glass, for all your contract or residential glass needs. Precision Vein Therapeutics, we can help you get back the legs you used to have. Special thanks to Taylor South with Cub Cadet, Brass Filangori Equipment Rental, and Mass Climbers for providing the equipment needed to help those who are less fortunate. All music courtesy of country music legend Hank Williams Jr. Hey folks, welcome to today's show. I think we've got an exciting show for you today. Uh, we're going to be with uh, both Sean and Susan Callahan. Uh, at the lodge at Mallard Landing, right outside of Alabaster, Alabama. They have a beautiful lodge. We're going to be doing a deer hunt with some special needs kids. You know, year in and year out, we work with Carol Clark at Kids Outdoors. Her and her husband, Rick, do a fantastic job. And we'll talk with Carol later in the show. But they, they take kids all over the country hunting and fishing who uh, have... Um, either their last wish to kill a big deer or catch a big fish or just a kid with leukemia or cancer that's in remission, just something that uh, they can look forward to. And they do a tremendous job, and we're just so glad to be a small part of it. And today we're going to do some deer hunting. We'll be with two young men. Uh, we're going to be with Will O'Neill and his father. Will has leukemia. But first of all, we're going to hunt with Michael Gosh. He's be with his parents, Alan and Sonia Gosh. And uh, he has spider bifida and uh, had some problems happen. Now he has a trach and a feeding tube in, and he's in a wheelchair and oxygen. Uh, but uh, he loves to hunt. And uh, Carol and them got up with Sean and his wife, Susan, and they said, bring him on. So we're going to be here at the lodge at Mallard Landing doing a deer hunt with Michael Gosh. We hope you enjoy it. Michael is three, 23 years old. <clears throat> he was born with spina bifida and hydrocephalus, which was a surprise to us at birth. We um, spent a few weeks in the hospital, of course, that you do at the beginning of of a journey like that and got home and had a we've had surgeries on and off throughout the years I think we've told a little about 24 now we um, Michael was after he had probably 12 surgeries pretty quick every six months every nine months for about the first nine years and around that time we found out that he had another disease called syringomyelia and during that first surgery, we had five surgeries to try and fix that. And the uh, last one we had in 2012, they had a syrinx or a cyst in his brainstem, and they went in to attempt to put a shunt in it and were unable to do it. So they tried to drain the cyst and the cyst exploded, leaving him uh, vent er, at that time it paralyzed his vocal cords open, so he was no longer able to eat. And we, um, we spent 33 days in an ICU, and at that point we learned how to deal with a trach and a G-tube. Michael learned how to walk again. We haven't heard his voice since 2012, because you can't have, you don't have any tonal quality when your vocal cords are paralyzed open. Um, we tried again to fix everything in 2014. We went to New York to Dr. Rakate and attempted to have everything fixed and it was unsuccessful. Michael bounced back from that one a little bit quicker. We only spent a week in the hospital that time. The, uh, 
we came back from that pretty downhearted because there wasn't, from that point on, we'd only see things slide slowly to a place we don't want to go. Uh, Michael got pretty depressed. <clears throat> we used to do fishing all the time and ended up having to quit fishing because it was just really too hard on his body. Although he loves it, we love to fish. The uh, About that time we met Carol and Rick, Alan's, Alan's uncle is a uh, long, long time, decades old friends with Carol and Rick. And Carol called Gary and asked Gary if he knew anybody with special needs in Texas that might want to go hunting. And so he told her about us and he, uh, Gary called me and Rick called Alan. And I would say about four weeks later, we were with Steve and Jan on the 345 Ranch. And it was a pretty amazing weekend. We were there for four days. And at the beginning of it, I don't know if Jan and Steve know, but after our, about our first 24 hours, Michael wanted to leave. He was pretty down. He didn't really know what all the hype was about. And uh, we just kept telling him, just hold on, buddy. Let's, let's just give it a chance. You, just, you might just really love this. Your dad hunts, your brother hunts, your, aunt, your uncle's hunt. If you have an aunt that shot a bear, give it a chance. <laughs> And so uh, the next morning, the next morning we went out with our guide and Michael had his uh, first shot and he shot a, a hog, a huge, huge hog. And uh, then we saw this little sparkle, a sparkle in his eyes and he just lit up. And I think the first time that he, they took him down to the hog and he actually put his hands on it and looked up at us, we just saw this glow and knew he was hooked. That's gonna be one awesome looking mound on your wall. Yeah. Look at these. That was like one on my wall, right, Michael? <laughs> little kickers. Michael, tell Carol she's got plenty in her house. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, yeah. it's going on my wall, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at the camera there. Wow. Man. That's awesome, buddy. Oh, she got a kiss. She snuck ah. a kiss in there. Congratulations. Ah. Way to go, man. Congratulations, Michael, on a great buck, my man. We are so proud of you. Everybody at Kids Outdoors, the lodge at Madeline Landing, and everybody at Tommy Wilcox Outdoors. That is truly a trophy, man. And uh, we're so happy that you're letting us share a little bit in your magic. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Y'all stay with us. Hi, my name's Carol Clark, founder of Kids Outdoors. Kids Outdoors is an organization uh, put together to take special needs children, children with handicaps, uh, challenged kids on dream hunts. We also incorporate all children within our organization uh, to get them in the outdoors. We have chapters all over the southeast. We also have places in Texas, Alabama, Tennessee that we take uh, our special needs children and do dream hunts with them, whatever their desires are we try to make it happen. If you're out there and are interested in helping with kids outdoors, uh, we, we're looking for land, land owners to, to 
allow these children to be able to come and hunt or fish. Uh, if you're a potential sponsor, we could definitely use the help. You can locate us on the web at www.kidsoutdoors.org or you can call me, Carol Clark, 205-410-3779. We'd love to have you come on board with us. Well, Carol, thank you for all you and what Rick does uh, for kids. It's, uh, it's truly made a difference in my life, and I know you've made a difference in a lot of kids' lives. And a lot of these things couldn't happen unless we've had lodge owners who are gracious enough to, to invite these kids and their families to come down and, and uh, be a part of it and donate deer and duck hunts and fishing and stuff like that. And uh, I wanted to just thank uh, Sean and Susan and just talk with them about why they do what they do. And uh, here's what they had to say. Hey folks, I'm here with Sean and Susan Callahan from the lodge at uh, Mallard Landing. That's it. Alabaster, Alabama. Yes, sir. Sean, thanks so much for having us down. I mean, beautiful place you got here. Thank you, I appreciate it. Tell our viewers a little bit about how you got involved with Kids Outdoors and using your place here to, to help them. Well, last year I got a phone call and, and uh, to see if we wanted to bring a young man uh, hunting. And uh, he had a couple of tumors on, in, on his brain and, and he just wanted to kill a big buck, you yeah. know? And so I said, sure. And uh, we went through Rick and Carol and, and uh, his dad brought him and uh, we had the opportunity and blessing to be with him and his dad and and kill a big 160 inch clean typical wow. buck and and uh it was sort of at that moment that uh when that happened retrieving that buck and seeing the smile on uh luke's face that uh changed susan and i to yeah. uh want to open up the lodge for this purpose yeah and susan i i do the same thing these kids have needles in their arms, they're getting chemo, they're getting radiation, and to be able to give them just a weekend of no pain just to get out, it's, got, it's, it's truly life changing. It is, it is a blessing, and we just, uh, we love to see the smiles on their faces when they see that big buck come out. Yeah. So it, it is awesome. Yeah. Gives them hope. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you having us down here today. We'll have uh, Will, uh, O'Neill mm -hmm. with his father Chris and what we're going to do today what's he looking for well um, I'm looking to get him anywhere from 170 to 2 inch 200 inch wow. uh, buck big buck um, he came hunting with us last year and I made him promise me he'd be back yeah and when I promised him that I would get him the buck biggest bugs ever shot wow. so that's what we're that's our goal tonight that's what you're all about yes well thank you all so much God bless you all Tommy and uh, nice meeting you. I appreciate it. Right, thank you. Hey folks, welcome back to Tommy Wilcox Outdoors. Again, we're up at the lodge at Mallard Landing with Kids Outdoors. Uh, Michael Gosh took a beautiful buck. And uh, next up is going to be Will O'Neill. And uh, before the hunt, I had a chance to uh, talk with uh, Will and his father about Will's condition, and uh, y'all take a look what he had to say. I've got uh, Chris and Will O'Neill with me today. Guys, y'all ready for a great hunt? Always. Oh, yeah. Now, Chris, tell us a little bit about uh, what Will has. Some form of leukemia? Yes, sir, it's a acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And through that, y'all met Carol, yes, kids sir. outdoors. Yes, sir. And uh, was you a big hunter always growing up? Yes, sir. Ever since I was old enough to hold a rifle. You was holding them one, huh? And today, uh, Sean and the fine folks here at the lodge at uh, Malalanta is going to let you shoot a nice buck. It's supposed to rain, but hopefully the rain gods will hold off a little bit and let you get your job done a little bit. It will. Uh, now, you've watched my show before, huh? Where are you yes, from? Uh, Centerville, Alabama. Centerville, Alabama. Okay. Well, Toby and all those boys are. That's actually the, the guy I works for that introduced me to Miss Carol. Oh, okay. That's awesome, man. Well, listen, I hope you the best in your treatment with your leukemia. But more importantly, I wish you great health 
and a big deal today. If you can do it, you can close the deal. If I get the opportunity, I can do it. <laughs> All right, let's do it, man. <laughs> Good job, man. Crazy. That's what it's all about, they will. You walk up and you smoke and I just didn't even move. <laughs> Good job, Will. Good job, buddy. Chris, congrats, man. Will, what you got? How many points? Thanks to the sponsors that make it possible for us to bring the joy of the outdoors to those who need it most. All of our special guests from those with cancer to our wounded warriors benefit from the generosity of these sponsors. And we encourage you to support the businesses that champion this important work. All right, folks, that'll do it for this week's show. A few people I want to thank. And uh, first of all, I want to wish the best to the Gosh family and Michael. Uh, also to the O'Neill family. Will, I hope they can get the leukemia in remission. Uh, and I hope you two guys can come back again next year for another super hunt. I want to thank Kids Outdoors for all they do for the less fortunate. Uh, you're truly a blessing to society 
And uh, again, Sean and Susan Callahan, thank you all for your hospitality, for your graciousness, and uh, God's going to bless you all because you're blessing these kids. All right, folks, that'll do it for this week's show. Hope to see you next week right here on Tommy Wilcox Outdoors. Y'all come get you soon. Up, loaded down, trucking on from town to town. Guns, bows, and a tackle box. Here comes Tommy Wilcox. Hitting the water, hitting the woods, that bama boy.